and we are live from the River Center in Davenport for Caged Aggression, Bad Blood, Night 2, Militich versus Jackson. Now, before we get there, we got a great co-main event. The son of Matt Hughes, Brandon Mills, is going up against Jordan Clark. This is the toughest competition that Brandon has faced yet, but you know a little something about his dad, don't yeah, you, DJ? Yeah, well, I can tell you for sure that he's got the best training, you know, and there's no, uh, he's got experience. You can't beat experience. His dad's Matt Hughes, and you know, I'm excited. That's why, that's why I came to watch. You know, I want to see how Hughes's boy is doing, and I want to go, go watch Mr. Militich take care of business. And let's talk about that business. It truly is bad blood. You've known Pat for some time. In fact, back in the day, you guys used to call him Coach. Yes. Coming out of retirement, 57 years young. BJ, what would you, what should we look at? versus Mike Jackson. Man, you know, well, Pat, Pat is always coach. You know, tomorrow night he's a fighter. But, uh, you know, he's still, he'll, he'll go in, he always steps in there and just, he, he blows me away with, with everything he always brings to the table. And uh, I'm very interested in watching that fight. And Mike Jackson, he's a tough guy too. He's been in the UFC. He's seen the level of competition. So, you know, we're, we're all here. We're all pulling for Pat. and. You know, we're excited. It's going to be some great fights, man. I've never been more excited yet nervous for a fight. Get ready for the action. Let's kick it up to Jason Vargas. Here we are, baby. The reason for the season. Pat Milicic versus Mike Jackson as Mike the Truth Jackson makes his way to the cage, the aggression cage. Not a big reception for him as this Iowa crowd is treating him to a barrage of boos fighting out of Main Street Boxing and Muay Thai out of Houston, Texas. 2008, he walked into the gym after being a fan for many years, including watching Pat Militich, and won his first fight via submission, and he was hooked. His thoughts on this matchup, it's super unnecessary, he says, because people want to play the victim and lack accountability for their actions. What did he feel? Some of his strengths are in MMA, his striking, and his fight IQ. Does he have any models in the, in the sport? No, because this is the dumbest fucking sport, but I love it. Some interesting stories about his MMA career. He fought CM Punk and he was cornered by his opponent tonight, Pat Militich. And that is really the beginning of the story to where we are today. And folks, I gotta tell you, my stomach is in absolute knots. I have never heard this type of a reaction from the caged aggression crowd. You know, usually it's pretty civil, but this is about as close as it gets for a WWE heel to step into the octagon. As the Croatian sensation UFC Hall of Famer, champion and trainer of champions, Pat Milicic makes his way to the cage aggression cage to punch in to do a little bit of work tonight. There he is. Patrick J. Milicic with a resounding ovation right here at the River Center, live and direct and worldwide on pay-per-view, being escorted to the cage by Jens Pulver, Hall of Famer, Matt Hughes, Hall of Famer, both trainer of champions coming out of that Milicic fighting system where they just bred champions all day. And there is not a person sitting down, everybody on their feet for one of the godfathers of mixed martial arts, Pat Milicic, looking in very good shape, takes one last drink of water, Jens Pulver gives him a big hug. I wish I could do the same. Again, my stomach is in knots, folks. It is in absolute knots. But we're professionals, JB. We're going to handle our business, right? I don't know. Are we? <laughs> oh, there's one of my buddies right there cheering him on. Shout out to Jacob. And here, are, here they are, the last little preparations. A lot of other local guys that Militich has worked with over the years in his corner. Again, this is a coming out party for Pat Militich. The Croatian sensation one last time in the cage looking to do damage. And folks, to say that this is personal and that this is the real deal and this is actually bad blood is an understatement. Without a shadow of a doubt. This is as real as it gets, ladies and gentlemen. And as expected, Pat Militich, the overwhelming favorite 
on the polls at almost 94%. Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans live in attendance at the River Center and everyone streaming live around the world. This is our main event of the evening. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the Cage Digression Professional Welterweight Division. Powered by Yabadabas.com. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet two inches tall and weighed in at 176 pounds. He trains at Main Street Boxing and is sponsored by Shits and Giggles brand. Main Street Boxing and Muay Thai and Thug Jitsu University. Joining us from Missouri City, Texas, Mike the Truth Jackson. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, and weighed in at 175 pounds. He is the founder and creator of Militich Fighting Systems and is sponsored by ChemicalFreeBody.com OrganicSuperSoldier.com and Dimeen Life Apparel. Joining us from Bettendorf, Iowa, he's UFC Hall of Famer, the Croatian Sensation, Pat Militar! And folks, you hear it. There's going to be no touch of the gloves here. I can promise right, you that. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the back. Fight clean, fight fair, fight hard. Obey my commands at all times. When I say break, break. Mike, do you have any questions? Pat, do you have any questions? Touch them up now if you wish. All righty then. Let's go. Here it is. And here we go. You can see the look on Pat Militich's face. He's been waiting for this for years, and it is about to happen, Captain. Here we go. It's on. Mike rushes forward. No touching of the gloves. Leg kick from Mike Jackson starts it off. Pat Militich parrying those feints right there. Takes another leg kick. It's smart offense from Mike to try to chop away at the legs of Pat. Absolutely. There goes the takedown attempt by Pat Militich. Let's see if he can get him to the ground. We're Good right defense from Mike cage. so far. Trying to stay up. Pat Militich has him by the cage looking for the leg trip. BJ, what does Pat need to do to finish this? Man, is his arms locked? I can't. It's tough to tell. It doesn't Man. look like they're locked up he, quite yet. This is, you know, this is tough right here. This is a tough spot right here. This is where a lot of, a lot of the, he gets. They get that right separation. There. That's what Mike. Oh, 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 big right hand from Militich. He swarms him after a big right hand dropping the true Jackson. Let's see if Pat can take advantage. Going for a Kimura, it looks like. And he might step over and get that crucifix. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, it's right there. He's looking for that Kimura. The crowd on its feet. Pat's been talking about he's going to take an arm. We'll see if he'll do it. Pat is looking to step over that other arm. Big in elbows. Town. Good elbows from Pat Militich right now. Putting in big time work here in the opening seconds of this first round is the Croatian sensation. Mike Jackson on his back. And Militich has stepped over that arm. He's got him in the crucifix. Wow. He's got him in the crucifix. Oh, you asked for it. He's Militich giving it to him. Delivering elbows. Elbow after elbow. Referee Bruce to Allen. It. Letting him do work. Pat Militich. Three minutes to go in the round. A lot of time elbow left for elbow. Jackson. Has to survive this opening barrage coming from the champ. And in a completely dominant position right now. Without a doubt. Side control definitely setting up for possibly Kimura or a Crucifix. Gets out of the Kimura. Man, elbow. Big elbow, elbows. Elbow. Holy God. Referee Bruce Allen keeping an eye on this. And Pat now again has that arm locked by. Oh, man, this is big. It's exactly what he wants. He's talking to him in there. He's letting him know. Pat Militich, Die Mean Incorporated. Oh, he means it. Big elbows here. Just smothering Mike Jackson. Mike Jackson Mike. nodding to the, the referee, seeing he's okay. The crowd on their feet. So many folks out here in support of Pat Militich. 
Over two, little over two minutes here in this first round. And quite frankly, even if Mike Jackson gets out of this round, if it stays this way, this is clearly a 10-8 round. Militich just landing those elbows again and again and again. Unanswered again. shots. Just an incredible fight so far for Pat Militic. And it all started with a big right hand, folks. Man. That's what dropped him. Jackson keeping that leg. Man, that Jackson's leg. lucky this isn't in Japan right now. That's a wide open knee to the face right there. Right? That is a wide open knee. Those elbows are finding a home. I can see it in Pat's face that he just wants to do it anyway. <laughs> But there are rules to this. Right. A little over a minute left in the first round. Another elbow comes down. Pat definitely want to be mindful of that gas tank. One minute left here in this first round. Oh, big time elbows. Big time elbows. Big breaths coming from the champ. I know it. This is only a three round fight, folks. Despite it being the main event of the evening. A little over 30 seconds here in this first round. I, again, there was no answer here. This is a 10-8 round. This is a 10-8 round, folks. I don't know how you find it any other way unless Mike Jackson is able to throw up some kind of offense from it from the bottom but we haven't been able to see it yet and I'm interested to see what happens when the when the round ends how Pat is gonna pop up yes again Pat Militich is 57 years young folks and he's showing it tonight big time age is not a factor got up very quick Dominant first round from Pat Militant. Dominant first round. Mike Jackson seems to be alluding to he's getting hit behind the head. Nick Spawn in the corner of Pat. Jens Pulver, Matt Hughes. Pat Militich sitting down for the first time of a round of MMA in well over a decade. Probably closer to two. Been a hot minute. Wow. <laughs> Been a hot minute. Here comes that right hand. Whoa! Oh. And that landed flush. Mike Jackson was coming in for a kick, ate it, and it was just all Pat Militich after that. And this all happened in the first uh, minute of the round. Vintage Pat Militich right there, tossing him off him. And there it is, the big right. Boom, lands right on the chin. I'll tell you what, folks, the knots are gone and the excitement is in the arena. There's some of the elbow work from Militic, and it was constant. Well, you're not transferred to me then, bro, because. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just watching the work get done. Let's see where this picks up, man. Who could keep this pace going? Pat takes a shot, another left. Mike's trying to pick up where he left off before he got dropped. Yep, throwing, throwing small shots, big right hand from Pat Lance. Ooh, right from, from uh, Mike Jackson Lance. Pat Militich ate that right very well. Yes, he did. Trying to shoot. Jackson's corner calling for an uppercut. Pat got the hands low. Let's trying go, to, Pat. Trying to lull him in to get him close so he can get those takedowns, I he think. Wa he wants a big overhand right. I think he wants a KO finish. I'm seeing him left, right from Jackson, left hits him. And to the takedown. Takedown again. With about a minute left. Mike Jackson trying to get he to his feet. He has a path to victory is what's nice. He has a path to victory. He absolutely has that path I to think victory. it's it's gonna it's gonna come down to cardio at the end of the day. Right. Technique, I think Pat has everything to win. It's just a matter of Well he's trying to drag him to the ground. He's got his back. Now he's inside control. Stay now a full it, mount. Full mount for Pat Milovic. This is very dangerous. This is a different situation right now. Uh -oh. Gets back into half guard slightly. Into side control. Militich bleeding heavy, a little blood coming from his mouth. That's what he likes. That's why he's here. <laughs> he's tasting the blood just a little bit. Now he's in full mount again. 
Seems like Mike's trying to give him his back, but Pat's trying to stay in the mount, it looks like. Well, if Pat can just start possibly. raining down those elbows, that's what he wants to do. Ooh, big right hand. Big right hand gets through. Militich on top, so far dominating this fight. Giving a look to the crew over here. Right hand gets through for Militich. Mike getting up to his feet. Pat nice. looking Pat's staying man. on him. Just Smart. all over him. Mike cannot shake him. Good job, Pat. Right hand from Militich. Two minutes, 40 seconds left here in this second round. Absolutely. Militich right now biding his time, trying to step on that arm with the knee. He, he loves the knee on the belly as well. Big elbow for Militich yet again. I'd like to see him try to soften him up with a right knee well, into Pat's the belly. Done a, Pat's done nice. a great job of negating Mike's weapons, his range, his length, his jab. He's got him on the ground, and he's having his way with him at this point. Right hand by Militich. A lot of action from Militich on top. Jackson's corner calling him to switch his hips and turtle. Use your right hand to hook his left leg. Well, under two minutes left here in the second round. Mike, use your right hand to hook his left leg. Militich just going to work, keeping control, right trying there. to grind through this right fight. Use your right hand to hook his left Looking leg. for the elbows. Which he's found at home with them over and over again. Absolutely. Pat with another right hand. What can Mike do from the bottom here, champ? What can Pat or Mike do to advance his position? Mike's got to make it, turn it into a slippery, slippery fest. He's got to scramble. He's got to start moving. Little over one minute here in this second round. He's got to give his back. He's got to take chances. He's looking for his neck right now. Militich looking for that neck. They stand up a minute to go. Whoa. Mike Jackson looks a little tired. He's definitely not strong on his feet there. Oh, big right is. hand from Militich. Oh, nice. Looking to end it. That slipped him. Shot. Mike Jackson with a bit of an uppercut right there. Slip and rip. Pat's looking fatigued, baby. Pat's looking fatigued. Body kick from Mike Jackson. Not a lot of mustard on those shots from Mike Jackson right now. Left hand from Pat Militich. Gets caught by a left on the way in. 30 seconds left here in the second. Looks like a little bit got in his eye right there. That right eye bothering him slightly. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Mike Jackson trying to make a case for the second round. Pat going for that overhand right. Getting eating some shots here. Left, right. This is a close fight. Big right hand from Mills. Big right. Knocks him down. Knocks him down. Eight seconds. Right. Little damage to that left eye. And he's sucking a bit of wind. I'm hoping that one minute. Into the gets. second round. I don't know why the bell hasn't gone off. And there it is right Somebody's there. Somebody's got to give him some vino. Give <laughs> him some vino. That's what he needs. I do. I know you are. <laughs> Pat, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm taking a look in the corner here, guys. Militich extremely gassed right now. You know, extremely uh, gassed, eating some shots. If Faces. I'm in that corner, I'm telling him to go for the shot, get the control, try to finish him on the ground, possibly take that neck. Nick Spawn talking listen, to him. Listen, listen. Get that man some vino. Jens Pulver in there talking to him. Pat having conversations with his corner here. I'm looking to see if Pat is going to make it out for this third round. We're hoping and praying right now. Mike Jackson is up. I don't know if Pat's gonna be coming out for the third round. He's up off the cage. It looks like he's gonna do it. Moving jab. He's done. Pat is done, ladies and gentlemen. Pat Militich not able to come out for the third round. Mike the Truth Jackson picking up the W. And look, 
a valiant effort from Pat Militich. You know, on the scorecards, he could very well know. Jens wants a piece. Jens Pulver taking exception. Oh, Telling man. him to be respectful. Jens just said, I will fuck you up. Hey, Jens is back, man. The original, the champ, he's back. Listen, Jens Pulver is in incredible shape right now. Fuck, he really is, man. He really is. And look, a disappointing end. Pat put it all in the cage. Yeah. Again, I believe he was probably winning on the scorecard. I believe he was winning. It was the gas tank, man. It was the gas tank. Yeah. And again, uh, you know, again, a disappointing way to stop this fight, but at the same time, you know, what are you going to do? You know, you, you want to see him go out in a shield and go out with a W. He ain't 26, he's 56, so. 57. 57. He's a champion, will always be a champion and always be a warrior. Yep. This fight here does not define his legacy. Pat is. Man, you look at the eyes on Jens Pulver, man. There's the yeah, handshake. Jens is back, man. Little Evil is back. <laughs> For real. He is. I mean, there's another uh, pair I love watching. You know, not only you and Hughes. You and Hughes did it, what, twice as well? And Pulver yeah. did it twice, right? Uh, no, three times me and Hughes, and then Pulver twice. Okay, that's where you did get a third fight for Hughes. Jeez. Does this pave the way, quite possibly, for a Jake Shields, Mike Jackson matchup uh, in March? I mean, it might. Let's see what we can do it in case of aggression. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Bruce Allen, called a stop to this contest between rounds, declaring your winner by verbal submission, Mike The Truth Jackson. Hey, come on over, Mike. Mike Jackson. I'm not sure if you made any new fans here tonight, sir, but definitely showed some resilience here in the cage. Hey, give us your thoughts on the fight. Any finishing thoughts, anything like that? Hey, man, it was fun. Come on, look, I know you guys in here boring me right now, but me coming to Davenport, Iowa, was an amazing experience. Shout out to Mike Goodwin for putting on an amazing show. Look, this is a top-notch MMA production here in Iowa. I want to shout out to my team right here for coming into enemy territory. This man is an MMA pioneer and legend. Much respect to Pat Millicent. We're going to leave it right there. But as far as coming to Iowa, I love it. Y'all got some good food. Real quick, y'all need to season your chicken a little bit more, though. Season the chicken. But solid, solid production. Well, hey, I, you know, it looks like he still hits like a truck, too. Am I off a little bit there? No, no, no. Well, look, I, that was what we knew he was going to come with. We knew he was going to bring that bang. And he brought, he dropped me there. He caught me, caught, caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, but, but props to him for being 55 years old and still cracking. Uh, but I had, to, I had to come into the territory and had to bring the endurance here tonight. It was a marathon. Not a sprint. Well, look, you got a little bit of time left to enjoy Iowa. I'll let you get to that, but anyone you want to thank or anything we left out before I let you go? Of course, shout out to my brand, Shits and Giggles brand. We doing big things. Follow me on Instagram and, of course, at the True Jackson on Twitter. Shout out to Body Me, my physical therapist, for taking care of me. Because, look, I'm 38 right now, and I'm on the foam roll every day. I'm massages, chiropractors all week. I can only imagine what Pat's going through right now. So trust me, shout out to the team for getting me here and getting me out safe. Well, Mike, again, congratulations on the win. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner tonight, Mike The Truth Jackson. Wakanda forever! All right, we're here with UFC Hall of Famer Pat Militich. Pat, honestly, it's an honor to stand here in the center of the cage with you. Your performance tonight, no matter what you think about it, I know impressed a lot of people here. Give us your thoughts, sir. 
Hey, man. Uh, hats off to Mike. He fought, fought a smart fight. I had him hurt early and uh, hit him with some hard elbows. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he, hey, he, he, he did well. And uh, I got to be honest, something I've never had happen to me in a fight is I gassed. I got, uh, I just got so tired that I really uh, just had a tough time operating out there. And it hit me about, I don't know, halfway through the second round or a little further in. And I just couldn't breathe. I literally couldn't breathe. So I feel like a, I feel like a coward because I, I trained as hard as I could, you know. Uh, but uh, smart, smart fight by Mike and uh, hats off to him. So, you know, I think the main thing is for me, doing this was me just saying, listen, man, the division in this country is out of control. People need to start realizing that your neighbor is not your enemy. We're being divided by design, and everybody needs to recognize that. And we all need to start sticking together, really, to be honest with you. So that's really what this comes down to, is Americans need to realize that we're being manipulated and the division should not be happening. Well, look, Pat, as I said, it's an honor to share the center of the cage with you. I want to check, is there anything that we might have left out before I let you get to the locker room? Hey, thank you to everybody out there who, for all these years, has shown me a lot of love. Thank you for the support from my corner, from Mariah, Jens, Nick, Matt Hughes, and everybody else. And uh, thank you to Mike Goodwin for putting on a great show. I'm sorry I let you guys down, but ultimately, um, Hey, man, if I can at least get in here at 57 and lose 40 pounds and do something, anybody can do something, trust me. My body's been put through the ringer. So I just pray for health for all of you, and, and you can do the same thing. I'm going to take time off and work on my spiritual journey. The past three and a half years has been tough on everybody. It's uh, definitely been tough on me, and I'm going to take time off and disappear into the Arizona mountains probably for a while. And, and fix my spiritual journey. Well, while you're doing that, myself and all your fans will be here ready to support you when you get back. Pat, let's hear it one more time, ladies and gentlemen. The Croatian sensation, Pat Militic. And folks, that is it. That is caged aggression, bad blood, anti-climatic ending. But we gotta remember, Pat Militic in my opinion, was dominating that fight. I think if we look at the card, it was probably a 2-0, uh, maybe a 1-1 after the second round. But if you listen to Pat, he said he had gassed halfway through that second round. That's how Mike Jackson was able to get those strikes off. Uh, again, I'm glad my friend did not get hurt. Mike Jackson gets the win. Brandon Mills also takes a rough loss in a very good co-main event. Uh, but throughout the night, we saw heavyweights scrap for five rounds. We saw big finishes. We saw up-and-comers. And we saw the veteran of all veterans leave it all in the cage, BJ. Yes, we did. Uh, what a great night of fights. I was impressed with uh, Hughes' boy. He did good. And his opponent. Two great fighters. They're going to have, um, they got a lot to look forward to coming up. Um, and, and Pat, Pat stepped in there. Left that, it all. That's got some guts. <laughs> guys, left it all in the guts. cage. And as we were just talking before we popped on here, you had said how, I mean, even though Pat was in a very commanding position, how that does tax you down having to hold down a fighter like that. It does, man. You you knock somebody down and, you know, you jump on them and you're you're trying to hold on. It is, it's not like you're when you're 20 years old trying to hold on to the bucking pool. <laughs> it's, it's just uh, you, 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 you overthink, I think, and you just burn a lot of energy. Yep, we saw some other great fights. We saw Lee Colvin step in there, get the finish. James Martin step in there, get the finish. Cage aggression, prime time organization. Two nights of great fights here at Bad Blood. I got to call fights with BJ Penn for Christmas sakes. <laughs> Pinching myself still, brother. <laughs> Absolutely. I want to thank you guys for joining us. Militich Jackson concludes anticlimactic, but the end indeed. And we'll see you all on the flip side. Yes, sir.